Wow. I never thought I would make a video with so many long pauses. I'm gonna hope that the lighting is okay because I didn't fix it for the last video and it seemed good and I don't think I'm really gonna fix it for this. Oh my god, that makes a world of a difference. Anyway, okay, first of all, I just want to mention you guys are crazy and it is amazing. Honestly, I forget what the last video that I filmed was before the video that just blew up, which was amazing. I don't even know how you guys did that. But that was, that was crazy. The last video I filmed, I'm back home or something from college, and then it was, I'm doing a giveaway. And nobody at all watched that video. And then suddenly I make a slightly better thumbnail and everybody sees it. But thank you guys so much for entering that giveaway. It was like the first or second full day that the video was up yesterday. And I checked and it had 300 views. I don't even know how many views it has now. I we hit 1,200 subscribers, which was freaking crazy. Thank you guys so much. But the giveaway winner, I haven't chosen it yet as of this very moment in time. But by the time this video goes up, the giveaway winner probably will be announced. I hope so, because I want to get the stuff out of my room before I go on vacation in a couple of days. We'll get that all figured out, and I'll box it up, and I'll put a nice letter in it. And I had this moment of deja vu, and I was talking to Jake the other night, and I said something like, hey, I have 1,150 subscribers. I think we can probably get to 200 by the time we're back at school. And he's like, yeah, I guess so. And he was just kind of like, maybe, but I don't want to get your hopes up. And then I checked yesterday and we had, we had like almost 1,230, which is crazy. But still freaking crazy numbers. You guys are killing it. Thank you guys so much. Uh, no, I don't want to watch YouTube TV. I want to check out my channel. I'm sure every single YouTuber feels this way. The fact, the fact that I can only give away these things to one person and everyone else is just so committed to it, it kind of, kind of stinks. There will be so many more opportunities to win things. Hopefully in the future, like in a couple of years, I'll have some meet and greets. If, if we can do that, if we can make this fandom really, you know, stand out, then I'm sure we'll be able to do that in the future. But for now, as long as we can join together as a fandom, get get everything to grow, and have a big little family. I, I just said big little family, that didn't make any sense. But for now, I wanna get into the topic of today's video, and today's video is something that, a topic that really interests me on, I guess, I wanna say a personal level, but not like, oh, I've dealt with this so many times, cause I really, I haven't, and I'm very thankful that I haven't, and I'm glad I don't wanna be that type of person who has done this a lot of times. Not saying that anyone who has done it is, not in the right mindset. I'm just saying that personally, that's not my choice. But for today's topic, I do want to talk about the hookup world in college because, oh my gosh, I have never, like, I didn't even go to parties that much. And I'm not going to mention what school I go to, but for you guys who have me on Instagram, which by the way, you can add me on Instagram, um, but for you guys that do have me on Instagram, you guys can see what college I go to. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I have been to parties at school and I've been to a, a good amount of parties just because my school happens, I didn't know this when I first went to my school, the college that I attend happens to be a pretty big party school and of course I'm definitely not the number one candidate for parties all the time. No, no. I'd rather go to my friend's dorm and make cookies and have a really nice Saturday night like that. I've done that and it's very fun. You blast music, you go to the kitchen, you make cookies, you, or you could order insomnia cookies, which pretty much every college campus has. Honestly, college life is amazing because you can do whatever you want, but you also have to be cautious. And I also, oh my gosh, I want to do an advice video for you guys because there is... <sighs> These are my favorite topics. They're just, I love them. <laughs> They're really good. Like I said, my school is a pretty big party school. One of my best friends will not go to any parties, and I hang out with him quite a bit. And then one of my other best friends hangs out and will try to find a party like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Probably not Sunday because nobody parties on Sundays. And those two types of people are perfectly fine. Today's video is about college hookups. So, um, yeah, let's just, let's just get on into the video and see what there is to talk about because there is a lot and I want you guys to be prepared if whether you're going into high school, whether you're going into college, whatever, I want you guys to know what the reality is like, and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything, I want you guys to know what I have experienced, what I want to experience for this coming year, being a sophomore in college, so let's just get on into it. 
I should probably just talk about my personal experience. Definitely, definitely the first weekend I went out. Halloween weekend is a very big one for partying. You're pretty lucky if Halloween lands on an actual weekend, but what we do at our school is we have just this huge weekend of partying, and then we have this thing called Halloween weekend where you dress up as whatever, and then you go, you go party the whole weekend, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The one thing that I want to persuade everyone to um, follow by is that if you go into college with, I don't care if it's an expectation, but if you go into the college with the hope for yourself personally to not be involved in anything like drugs or hookups or partying, then definitely don't let that become something that you're a part of because if you come in there and you're like, no, I don't want to party, and then the, the friends you meet on the first day are like, oh, we're gonna go out. It's going to be a tough situation, but I want you guys to keep in mind to always stay true to what you want because later down the road, you're gonna meet someone and they're gonna say, oh yeah, would you do this first weekend of school? And say that person isn't a big partier and you say, oh yeah, I went out to like three parties because I was hanging out with these people who went to parties. They're not gonna think very highly of you if, um, if you're going out of your way to do something that you wouldn't normally do. So what I would try to do is try to stick to another set of friends in order to maintain that status that you want because you don't want someone to change you to be something you don't want to be just because you're hanging out with them. You need to find the right type of people to hang out with. Sometimes it takes a while to do that, but it definitely will happen. I have found my right group of people to hang out with and I'm so thankful that I have them. You guys already know. I've posted pictures with them, and I also I have another friend group that I haven't posted very many pictures with, but still, it definitely counts to maybe wait it out and see, and if the people who you're hanging out with at this current time don't want to do the things that you want to do, then maybe it's best to just kind of branch off and try to find someone else. Because I'm telling you, college is full of people, there's a definite chance that you're, that it's going to happen, that you're going to find someone who you get along with, so you just have to make sure that you put yourself into the right hands so you're able to be with that group of people. I'm going to tell you guys this piece of advice right now. If you're looking to if you're looking to actually have a relationship in college, please do not resort to hooking up with people because that is not going to get anywhere and most likely you're just going to get your feelings hurt. They're basically using you and they're doing something with you that you have different expectations for and overall it's just not going to go well. Stick to what you personally want and by doing that your views will be clear as I'm trying to figure out a good way to word this. People will be able to see right through and they'll see, oh, this girl has not hooked up with anyone. She probably wants a relationship and they're going to back off. And I promise you guys the right person will come to you. It just takes time. So definitely remember that. I watched a few videos on hookups last night just to kind of clarify what they were. And it can mean anything at all from doing like first base all the way to just, you know. Best piece of advice that I can give you guys if you want to stay away from that hookup trend, which is what I feel like most people are going to want to do, but also a lot of people, like a lot of people, if you go to parties, everyone is going to be drunk or drinking jungle juice and doing things with other people. These people are probably some people they haven't even met. It's kind of weird to just do that stuff with a random person, but there are people out there who will do that. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be one of those people, I'm just saying if you don't feel comfortable being one of those people, then just don't do it. Just make make it a little better for yourself and just tell yourself this is not the right choice for me and your time will come. It just takes some time. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret that my friend Emily um, told me, which was Emily, if you guys don't know her, she was my first semester roommate and she told me about two weeks before school ended, we were all in my friend Brielle's dorm and Emily went up to me and I was very upset because I had just told my feelings. I'm going to just be honest with you guys about my story. I had just told my feelings about where this whole friendship or relationship or whatever was heading. And I told them to this one guy because I was just like, I'm getting a lot of mixed signals and I don't want to be confused anymore. I just want to know, is this going to happen or is this not going to happen? So I went up to him and I said, I don't know what we're doing. We really... At this point, we only had about a week and a half left of school, so it's just like, if we're going to do something, we should make it official now. If we're not going to do something, then tell me so I don't have to keep worrying about this because it was taking over my, my mind and it wasn't healthy for me. And he had basically said, look, I like you, but I do not have time for a relationship at all. And I told that to Emily, 
And at this point, at this point, none of my friends in this particular group had relationships. Something very good is happening in the future for both me and you. We just have to wait for it. This was probably a week later. Um, she and her current boyfriend started dating, which was really cool because they are best friends and that just kind of, I feel like it was meant to happen. And she also said to me the week before, very good things are gonna happen for both of us soon. So I figured, okay, this is hers, when's mine? And I didn't really look into it. And then I went with her and her boyfriend to that premiere at school. Someone's texting me. Lots of people are texting me. Okay. I should make a whole video compilation of people, of me saying someone's texting me or someone's calling me because every single time I make a video, someone texts me or someone calls me. About a week after Emily told me that, I honestly was just like, she's just saying this, this isn't gonna mean anything. And I was maybe thinking a little bit, you know, it could possibly mean something, but I don't wanna get my hopes up. It's the last week of school. And a lot of other people were telling me, they were saying stuff like, it's the last week of school, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna find someone? Then my whole story happened. When I get back to college, I can explain my whole story in a different, different setting when people from college are actually in the video because that would make more sense. Long story short, it worked out for both of us. Both of us are happy in our current relationships and that's just something to think about because honestly, the moment is so true. The moment you stop looking and trying to find someone, that is when someone comes into your life or you come into their life and that's when all of these good things are bound to happen. Oh, also, I feel like my voice this whole video has been very serious and in all of my other videos my voice was not serious at all. And I guess that's because I'm talking about a serious topic and I want you guys to take it seriously because I'm also telling you personal stories from my life that I want you guys to keep in mind as maybe experiences that you can, um, you can kind of play into your life when you guys, um, I don't know, when you guys are at the stage of your life, whether whether you're in it or not, you can definitely learn something from this video. So I think that's important for me to, I guess, keep a serious tone because it is a serious topic and I want you guys to really know what is ahead of you and to be prepared for the future. In terms of what should and shouldn't be in a relationship or a hookup, I know two different types of people who will do two completely different things and that's okay. There are so many different types of people, so many different types of relationships that you can have. Um, whether it's something compassionate, something real, something that's like, oh, let me just date you for a week. Either way, none of it is wrong if you have a steady plan that you're going by. I just want to make sure that you guys know what you're getting into and um, just be, be careful because you don't really want to have anything that you regret. I definitely have one situation in particular that I regret doing. Be safe. If you know yourself and you know that you don't want to get into drugs or anything, which I was surrounded by so many people who had vapes and jewels and all these other things. Knowing me, I am definitely not the type of person who is going to get into that. So I have not done anything like that. I don't own anything like that. I'm not going to try anything like that. I'm not going to do anything like that. That's okay. It's okay to go to a school where that stuff is popular and it's okay to say no to things. If you really don't want to drink in college, then 100% do not do it because you don't want to you don't want to let yourself down and you don't want to say oh these people pressured me just don't do it find some friends who aren't into it and you guys will have an amazing time without needing to drink and you won't feel bad about it because you'll actually remember it the next day unlike some other people if I'm being completely honest drinking is super hard to avoid when you're in college unless you're not going out um, but even like pre-gaming is huge Maybe just at my school, probably at a lot of different other schools, pre-gaming is huge, everything is huge. There's a way to avoid everything. Like I said, I have that one friend who does not do partying, does not do drinking, does not do anything, will stay inside and will watch movies with his friends because he doesn't want to do it, which I give so much credit to because he is, he's being smart about it. Unless you're very strictly against going out, you're probably going to go out for Halloween. Wow, these are a lot of personal stories that I didn't really, I don't know, I'm not usually serious in my videos, this is a weird different type of video for me, and I like it, it's just very weird to make. Um, learn something, I probably should have organized this video better to be honest, but I guess I just didn't feel like writing anything down for it, I don't know. So I hope you guys liked this video, if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and also leave a comment down below just telling me your thoughts and opinions because I would definitely love to hear about your experiences because I know that a lot of people watching this do not, go, like my friends from my school are probably watching this, but a lot of you guys don't go to my college. So leave your comments down below from your experiences at college, what you want to experience, what you 
have experienced and all of those different things because I want to I want to see what other experiences other people have at college obviously and I will talk to you guys in my next video and also please 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 I definitely messed that up <laughs> please 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 be prepared to say no if you don't want to do anything and if you do want to do something please make sure you're careful about it I do not want to be your deciding factor I want you to do what's best for you and what you want I'm just telling you my opinions and my views on this whole type of situation, but if it is clear, wow, I didn't mention through that entire video, that I am not one, one to enjoy hooking up. I do not like it. I don't see the point in it. Even if there are not strings attached, there are always, always, always strings attached. In order to hook up with someone, you're gonna have to actually have, like, you're gonna have to be attracted to them first because nobody hooks up with someone who they're not attracted to. So as long as there's that attraction there, there's gotta be some type of string attached. So just be careful, please don't get hurt. And if you get hurt, I'm always here to help you guys in my DMs, on Snapchat, on Twitter. So yeah, please be safe in college and don't do anything that you wouldn't want to do. Um, and also just make sure to find your group of friends that you feel comfortable hanging out. Um, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. I have a clap going up pretty soon, so that should be fun. All right, bye. I need to really think of an outro, cause, or not an outro, but just a key phrase to say because I don't have one. I just have, all right, bye, but I need something like, something cool. Comment down below, you know what? Comment down below what my, um, what my little catchphrase should be. All right, yeah, that's a good way to end the video. All right, bye guys. I'll see you next time.